Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and I want to tell you the story today of how I found out that my great-grandfather, Jacobo Arotian, is famous. Pretty impactful legacy, actually, so let's begin. A few years ago, I was taking my very first trip to Mexico, and Carlos, the gentleman right here, he is a Mexican-Armenian who is a really big part of the Armenian community in Mexico, and he writes about Armenians that migrated to Mexico. And he reached out to me. He said that my great grandfather was one of these people and that he was writing a dissertation about him. So I met up with Carlos and he showed me tons of notebooks and binders, like several binders full to the brim with news articles and information about my great grandfather. It turns out that he was a pretty big deal. Jacobo probably fled Armenia because of the genocide. Many Armenians were going to all parts of the world. Uh, he ended up in Mexico and he became a big time railroad contractor, which meant that a lot of the projects he was working on were benefiting these little places that became bigger towns because the trains would be able to go there and provide resources and connections to other bigger cities. So what, this was the case with a town called Zumpango del Rio, which is a place where he had a house. He probably had a family there um, and it just, the town existing owes a lot to him because without this contract of, of railroads going there, it wouldn't grow as big as it did. I found out online that the house that he had in Zumpango was actually turned into like a town hall. And then it was even further turned into a cultural center, which has his name. In this picture, you can see the outside of his house and the inside. And it seems like a really great place for cultural gatherings. There's a lot of art exhibits, performers. So it's a pretty important cultural center in the town of Zumpango del Rio. Just so that you get a sense of the geography, Zumpango del Rio is about an hour and a half driving from Acapulco. I even found a Wikipedia page about Jacobo Arotian, and it tells about his involvement politically in Mexico he actually fought in the Mexican Revolution and he was on the losing side and he had to flee Mexico. But he was a general in the army, which he was, I think, the first Armenian to be a general in the Mexican army. And he had about 2,000 people under his watch. And most recently, I found out that there is a street named after my great grandfather in Zumpango del Rio, Calle Jacobo Arotian. Last but not least, there was some street art that was part of the house at some point in Zumpango, and there was some street art you see on the top left part. That's my great-grandfather. 